Hello, I'm Brian Brisky. I work for NRCS um, out of Northwest Wisconsin, Altoona. Um, what we're here today here is we're looking at our cover crop that was established last fall and we're looking at what it's looking like now. We're in that mid end April here. And what I want to talk a little bit about is when we put this seed in the ground, we had objectives. And I want us to kind of think, go back and think a little bit about did we accomplish our objectives or not. Some people put this in obviously after corn silage, we're going to be looking for sheet and rail or potentially wind erosion. So when we look at sheet and rail, this is roughly six inches tall right now. We get a rain here. This definitely is going to provide protection. Um, I, another thing is from the wind standpoint, we're getting to the stage here where this is going to provide us some wind protection. Another thing we talk about is, um, is water quality. We have, a, we have a six inch rye here that's growing. It's using nutrients. It's helping with the uh, with cycling, potentially scavenging up some excess nutrients. So that's going on. Another thing that we're looking at is uh, compaction. A lot of people want to put in a cover crop to help mitigate compaction. Where we have the soil sticking to the roots, this is kind of some of the first process of what we would call generally our biology happening. But what I think is also interesting is how deep these roots are. Actually, if we look way down in here, I found my last root down at about this level right now. And that's roughly about 14, 14 inches. What's very interesting is we got a 14 inches of root on about a six, seven inch um, plant of rye here. Um, if we let that rye grow another three, four days, that root's gonna go way down into our profile. When we try looking at breaking up um, hard pans and the power to root, this is amazing. This is cool stuff. The other thing that we're gonna look at is from a forage standpoint. Um, Potentially, we have a forage crop established here. If we're looking at, um, we had some alfalfa kill and we're looking for a little bit of a excess um, forage this spring, this is something that we could do with that. So, I mean, on the surface here, um, we got some green going on, but realistically, when it looked back to the objectives or why we did that, there's a lot going on here and this cover crop has basically done a lot of work.